Terra Preta Sanitation Part 7 Usual Toilets and Sanitation in Ethiopia Talking about the improvement of sanitation and toilet systems, we need to have a look at the current situation. Within the next minutes, we will show you some private and public toilets in a small town in Ethiopia, where our partner university is located, the town of Arbaminch in the south. The examples are quite typical for many other places in the world, so let's have a closer look. About 10 people live in this house. 10 people. And, uh, and all in this, this place. And now they are digging this one. At this house, there has just been built a new toilet on the property. It doesn't seem to be finished yet, but it is already in use. This family is interested in an installation of an Ecosan toilet on their compound. They grow vegetables in the backyard and would like to use the resources. There is no toilet yet on their property. We just found a shovel and human excreta in a corner of the compound. You can see, that's really very problematic to have a toilet system here. It's highly congested and the people are very poor. It seems a compound, but you can see five different households are living in this compound. Yeah? But even there is no single toilet constructed here. And the house is, of course, owned by the Kabbalah and uh, the resident is, has no right to construct his own toilet in the, in the compound. Just you can see, this is a toilet where eight uh, households uh, using in each household you can you can count more than five to six uh, individuals or people so uh, more than uh, 48 people all time using this toilet it's open it's surprising uh, mm. to see this one as a slab you know just this mm. slab mm. even if you closely look you can see for magos they, they add ash to control the maggot and, and the, the, the smell. Of the yeah. 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 So they share with their never. Okay. No, but just they dig it recently. Up, up, metre, no. No, one chamas. Ah, why? Ah, why? Ah, why? Ah, why? Ah, why? They are saying that every household has their own respective uh, toilets or kitchen. That's because of the Kabbalah enforces the 
households to have their own uh, uh, toilets by the help of health extension agents. And if any household who, who is not willing to have its own toilet, they keep them in prison for 24 hours and they find them in money. What about public toilets? Well, we also found toilets that supposed to be public, but they actually were not. This has been a public toilet, but because of a dispute with the owner of the property and people making a mess in the toilet, it has been closed. And this quite comfortable toilets and showers are locked, being afraid of vandalism and getting problems with regular cleaning. This is a communal toilet, constructed by the Red Cross organization, which also takes care of the regular emptying. There are four squat toilets on a large pit. Four keys were given to four poor families in the highly congested surrounding to take care of the cleaning once a week. There are about 40 households with five to six family members using it. It is working well, except that there are conflicts with people from other areas wanting to use it as well. They gain entry by force, destroying the windows and climbing the doors. Because many people using the toilets, they are often very dirty. On this school compound, there is a toilet, but only for the teachers, and even they don't use it. The principal explains why. Teachers are not using the school toilet now, uh, because it is filled, it is almost uh, full. Teachers use their home toilets. Uh, if there is problem, they go to the surrounding hotels. When a pit latrine is full, it is really a problem to empty it. The suction trucks are very expensive and have a full schedule for months. Sometimes poor people are paid to empty it by hand, which of course entails a serious health danger. So a common solution is just to dig a new pit and build a new toilet if there is enough space on the compound. This teacher explains that a new toilet is already planned. It will be installed by a local EcoSun project but to prevent it from pollution and vandalism, it will be only accessible for teachers and students will have to go on with open defecation. The students are using simply just a uh, rural area. It's open, uh, the door, it has no door, uh, no protection. <laughs> the lack of toilet leaves traces everywhere. In some roads you not only find goat droppings or cow dung, but human excreta as well. There are still lots of places where there aren't any toilets and the people are forced to do their business in the open area. Of course they are looking for a little privacy too, and so they prefer to use small valleys, eroded cliffs, dried riverbeds, and other certain terrains for defecation in order not to be seen. In these places you really have to be careful where you step. But the fact that these places are well hidden is an incentive for children to play there, which is obvious to be a sanitation problem as well. Because they are uh, complaining that uh, they have uh, no any uh, toilet, they have no water point, they just use uh, open air. This is gorgeous for notification, um, and uh, uh, they have to walk a very long distance to fetch their water either from the Vono or from uh, the, the river, called for River, and uh, that takes a long time. So uh, they are telling us that they are in critical problem with regard to toilet and uh, water. 
For a lot of people, the river is the main source for taking a bath, washing clothes and get water to irrigate, to drink or to cook. But also waste or feces are dumped in the water and cars and animals are washed there. This generates serious health danger. Especially because the flow direction of the river changes from time to time, depending on the season and weather conditions. Arba Minch does have a fresh water supply powered by electric pumps. But power outages due to a shortage in electricity are frequent and sometimes rest for days. Then there is no fresh water and therefore no flush water for toilets too. Yeah, this is the uh, only uh, source of water for two villages uh, for about uh, 500 people. Uh, and uh, it works every day uh, in the morning and in the evening session. And uh, the, the users are uh, now telling me that uh, they are in high uh, deficit or deficiency of water. So they are in problem. Not all neighborhoods have a pipe connection to the water supply. So lots of people have to walk long distances to get to the next public well, where they have to pay to fill their jerry can. So if it's single uh, jerry can of such, it's 10 cents, but if you want to take three, it's 25 cents. The sewerage system is missing completely because of the high costs. If you are further interested, please click on some of these uh, flickering subjects.